hello early years. So today we're going to have, or you can do this over a couple of afternoons, you're going to have an art lesson linked to healthy eating. And that's because we're going to be exploring an artist who is called Giuseppe Archimoldo. And Giuseppe is an Italian name and actually it's Italian for Joseph. So uh, we're going to look at Giuseppe Archimoldo and I'm just going to open up Hold on one moment, and we're going to have a look at some of his work together and explore some of his paintings, and then you can have a go at doing them yourself. Okay, here we go. So there's going to be lots of fruit and vegetables, so hopefully you've got some at home that you can use. If not, you could cut out some or draw some yourself. So let's just have a look. So, first of all, it says, who was Giuseppe Archimoldo? So, he was an Italian artist who was born in 1527, which means absolutely nothing to you. But it was over 500 years ago. 500 years ago. So, let's have a look and see what he was doing. See if you like his work, because it's really nice to look at different artists and actually see if their work, if it's work that you like to do as well. So here we go. He painted pictures of different fruits, vegetables. He even had meat and fish in there to make pictures of, or make portraits, which is paintings of faces. So have a look at this painting. See if you like that one. What, what, what can you see in there? And quite often, if he was doing a painting and it was autumn time, he would just use the autumn fruits and vegetables, or if it was springtime, he would change them. Here's another one to so have a look. Can you see, you can see a face there quite clearly, but when you look carefully, you can see lots of different fruits and vegetables. So what fruits and vegetables can you spot? Can you see, I can see there's an apple there. That looks like a courgette and a pear. I can see a pea pod there. There's some plums up here. This looks like an, um, aubergine perhaps and some grapes and then look the body is made out of corn out of corn so really exciting things have another look at this one this one is a face a front on last one it was it was on the side this one is a front on picture so what can you see here lots of different fruits and vegetables what other ones oh look i love the idea of the grapes here for the hair because they do look a bit like curly hair there's a cherry up there and then we've got some great big pumpkins some cabbage leaves here for his shoulders what else can you see have a good look there's so many different there's some flowers great big pumpkin here for his chest because it's a similar shape isn't it but my favorite one for this one is the pear for his nose I love that pair for his nose. I think it's brilliant. So have a good look at the pictures. See if you like them. Let's have a look at this. Look at this one. He's got a hat on. He's got a bowl of a hat. And he's got, I can see there, we've got um, parsnip. And this looks like an onion for his cheeks. And some mushrooms. Some mushrooms there for his lips and his smile. Fantastic so many different things so he's really looked at the shapes of the vegetables and thought if your cheeks are big and round he's thought about a big round shape and if he's got a nose that is straight he's thought about a vegetable or a fruit that is straight so it says here can you create your own fruit and vegetable art so you might want to explore some at home now i'm gonna i can drag these over so i'm gonna have a look i'm gonna use because i really liked i know it's not gonna let me do that so i apologize there but you can have fruit and veg you might want to draw the outline of um let me just go back to previous you might want to draw the outline of a face, just the outline, and your children can use the fruit and vegetables to fill in the face and make a picture, looking at thinking about the shape, thinking about the textures, thinking about what colours they are as well. You might want to think about colours and create a picture using actual fruit and vegetables. They might want to draw fruit and vegetables, or they might, you might even want to print some pictures off or cut out some pictures and use those. 
And here you go, so you can draw and color your own fruit and vegetable portrait. You might wanna cut some out, or you might want to use real fruit and vegetables to create a 3D one. But most of all, what we really want is for you to have fun, explore, have fun, and there was an artist doing this nearly 500 years ago. So you are artists, so well done. Enjoy.